to Watson for some extra setup. And it's Ania. He is blocking this one, but Watson still going to leave over him. Try and get to. No, he gets sucked in by the cause. He's not going to be able to go for that kill on Amike. They wanted that core. They won't have him, though. Okay, Arrow goes out. Maybe they still will. Cut to Obi. Goes in for the kill, and he gets it. He's shot down, but they do manage to get at least this Fiend's grip. Oh, Watson. He's closing the distance on a knee shot. A thunderbolt from the heavens will bring him down. Knee shot falls. Now a pit on the boxy. See if they can catch up to him with DM cutting in from behind. And no one. Artillery. Max. Magic fire from the back lines is decimating Liquid. It's all up to 33 with his Bloodstone to try and stay alive against the three. He's going for the kill on Watson. He's doing tons of damage, but the Bloodstone can only take him so far. A Stinger is so close. The Sandstorm won't do it. Maybe he could go for no one instead. He's going for it. They can't win this. A one versus three, and it's 33 who will win it. The Rocket Flare was what got the Monkey King, I think, at the end. Yes, Insania picks him up on the side. Oh. Very clutch flare as Watson survived on 20 HP. This is risky. The tower is dropping. Duracho does have the Maelstrom finished up. They're bringing the whole team in for this one. Liquid, they themselves, they're also ready to return fire. Teleports are ready for Mikkei. If he sees a chance to fight, he's also got the Wrath of Nature back off cooldown. Quinn, he'll start the action though. Looks over towards the back lines. Find the connection onto 33. This is deep. Way too deep here Hook for shot. Quinn. I mean, fortunately for Gaming Gladiators, Insania's going to whiff that one. Doesn't get the connection. Gives Gaming Gladiators the chance to back up underneath the tier 2. Liquid, they may just be ready to dive it though. The cops are going to get laid down. Push back, Quinn. Turn around with the but he's just in with a silence over towards Tofu. Tofu backs off, Solar Sentry Burst point. coming in. They've got the catch with the Terrorize point. Terrorize the three! Moxie fall up beautifully there. Onto the three of them. The fear pushes back Quinn. They take down the Pango. They turn towards Duraccio. The Solar Sentry Burst bringing him low. Celery comes up the rebound to try and get Duraccio out of this one. Celery tries to stand he his ground and fight back. But he will fall. Ace to go down as well under the tier two. They cannot defend. Liquid is just smashing them. Nisha gets a three man. Just to try and stay up alive. He is getting ruined right now. Almost a full level up on him is Quinn. This the is the way the matchup's supposed to go, right? And he's just going to have yes. to look for recovery elsewhere. Nice little centaur rotation. Okay. Maybe deny a water room? <laughs> That's, That's exactly what happens. That so is big. These big. are the little things you want to do to skew this matchup. I was about to say, yeah, a lot of this lane is saying he first light room. But what this game will come down to in terms of mid lane potential is the support rotations. How much does each, each team utilize the advantage that Quinn's created here? Oh, this is so cool. Him. Look at White Mine. This is so valuable for Thompson. Uses the enchant on the Centaur to get some good harassment. They're even going to try and go for the kill oh, with the last second yeah. Centaur stunned away. Tan King manages to get the kill on the fight for all thanks to this beautiful support player. And White Mine, who does die. Someone will get melted, but you have to be able to find them. And he got Thompson. White Mod trying to close the distance to get the disruption of Burrow Strike. Puts him in range. Now they hit it, but it's not like Quinn used many spells. He saved the Sonic Wave for the second part of the they fight. Hey, Thompson, the amp damage almost getting no snowball. Pulling him out, pulling him out. Oh no, did Thompson manage to get away? What a save from Soxa! Every single CS, neither team wants to give any free ground in this laning phase, which feels all important. Another unstable concoction, another go. This time heading to Ramses. Ramses doesn't have the scorched earth, the extra movement speed required. Shard separates him, but the burnout of the acid is more than enough. With the help of the pine cone, they're gonna be able to get that kill and trade out support for core to the favor of Gaming Gladiator. Gaming will take that every time, especially getting the extra experience on Celery here. Is he gonna get this as well? The Siege Shard is gonna impale the back to him. Oh, so, so, he has to pop the he's very dead. fire, he's cornered, he's caught in a trap, and Celery gets two! <laughs> On the side of Aurora, so if Mars can't offer a lot in that regard, but only offers control, they're really trusting in K1's ability to kids. Oh, them. they get the hex, they get the opening onto the Tusk, but the vacuum is going to delay things, and look at the damage that Divine Lama has already taken. The snowball wasted so much time, nobody even dies inside of it. And the first to fall is Divai Lama. K1 finally pops the battle chance, but here is where the kiting begins. Gets kicked oh! off to the cliff! Finally Goal! gets brought down by the cookie! <laughs> and is killed off shortly after a three for nothing, and Aurora that's in a, the driver's seat. That's a three-pointer. Led to somewhat of a trade, I suppose. Oh. KJ does have Supernova. He does have Supernova inside the egg. Nice spear. Can they save the egg? It's going to be close. A big oh, review comes out. And the egg does activate. Lornoff and company in a lot of trouble. He oh, dies boy. at 23 Savage. Another death to his name. And Heroic 
a huge rotation potential in the next minute here. A massive win, and Extreme had been subject to that kind of pressure before. Yep. You're gonna catch him here on the Assassinate, just a bit of damage, push him back, disruption, a couple more Shadow Poisons, a Blood Grenade even. Does he think he can actually get this kill? It's gonna rely on landing the Poisons. He's he got a fourth one, he's the fifth. fifth one, he got oh. the fifth one! Sokta, the hired Assassin! Sharp on his <laughs> mark, brings him down! All of its attack speed slow is not going to stop here with an AC. A Jin Q tries to go in, puts him inside the shard, and with that macro pyre out, they're able to do some damage. They drop the right wave of oh, it's pitiful. He it doesn't it's do nearly the man. damage that is required. Arena goes out and it's XM who's gonna be the victim instead, perhaps, as all three are gonna die. And Sokta with what poison cleans up all of them. That is done. Extreme gaming. He's ready to lead him. Boxy is standing by his side, but how much can the Tusk do to save the pucks? No screens there. Fiends Gate comes in, drinking buddies will drag him out to the side. The pit catches onto the three of them. Dretcho gets the pull back onto Insania. The shards will actually give some space there for Insania, but Quinn's able to Quinn jump over. The stun comes out though. It seems able to turn, get the old top on towards Quinn. Incredible save there by Boxy with the shards, keeping Insania alive, alive, allowing him to play his hand, and that now enables Quinn. Liquid to potentially turn the fight around. They'll look towards Ace. Boxy charges forward, Nisha. He's been caught again. This time he'll fall. Boxy caught by the lasso. Dracho beats again to him. Boxy turns. They take it down a damage. second. Double kill for Mike. Celery got in this round. Triple kill for Mike. Liquid. Yeah, if he can get there in time, the snowball stun should be able to get him. If he times it correctly, snowball goes out, hits him with the stun, snatches away that wisdom rune. Got pull. That's a huge win for Liquid here. I think they're now very happy with how some of these lanes progress. Absolutely. Boxy will certainly die for this one, trying to do some shard shenanigans to bump him away. But uh, there's nowhere he can go to. This is also freeing some of the pressure off of Nisha in that mid lane. True. Like every time you rotate the sniper out of here, or you get involved in these skirmishes like that with the rune, there's no ganks going into the puck. There's no momentum being built. Oh, we got him inside the snowball just in time for the LSA. And now it's Watson in trouble. Out of mana and out of health. Gets burned out. It's a 33 doom. Stands tall. And Insania slips in from behind. An ensnare on one, a blood grenade on the other. But both will be able to back away. Very heads up play from Boxy. This is why you give him these melee fours. Oh, look at he no one, though. Hey, Shroon, and he's looking to help Fishman. Fishman's dead. Can no one get the revenge though? With a haste rune, he should be able to keep up with Boxy no problem. Eventual death. Boxy pops the Lotus to get the kill on the Courier. A spiteful play that also gets him back into the tower. You just have to push through it. Tops it. He was a nuisance this time around. No, he the disruption. He stopped the last two initiation. Now Ramses comes in with his BKB. Still here with a Sonic Wave on it too. The Death Trap wants They're to get him a hop about. They managed to get the Doom on to the Queen of Pain. A great target. And there's a full HP pure. And Tops it. It's going to no work. Epicenter. Epicenter slamming the ground. Slamming Game of Gladiators. Two cores down. One of them's gonna buy back Quinn. He's back into play thanks to the gate and will swing this team. Does not have BKB now. Gonna pop the bristle back. There is the punch and now the shards, now the connection. Pulling him in closer and closer. Feared. Down to about a third of his HP. Still feeling strong and in charge. Pike Schofield. has to back away. Schofield goes forward. Break done! Schofield oh! looks for the hookshot connection. Takes him down! What a hit! Schofield with the blade mill making good use of it, but does he have enough damage to get him out of alive? No. It's really hard. He's gonna throw on the Defiant Shell and head in. And now they move in. That's the tier three tower already. Gun starts hitting, but have they committed too far? It doesn't look like it yet. The Nullifier is out. The BKB is there. Ramsey's they cookie and they run away the main hero. He is lying in wait here on the Smyrus that Perfect opportunity. And they might just do it again. I mean, if you're Falcons, you're thinking about having to go up against Mega Quartz and Ramsey's jumps! A great arena catches on to three. Meanwhile, Maureen, though, jumps in with Skitter off to the side. Nobody's died in that arena. But the jump away tops in with the Hurricane Pike, gets a little bit of separation. Soxa walks forward. That is the Bristle dropping very low. Who on everybody? Ramsey's is dead off to the side. Still the Raxxor stays out with a great boundless strike! The jump in finds Thompson, he's dead! Damage out from Wymon! This Enchantress is hitting very hard! The buyback comes, but there's no buyback for Maureen! Skinner, they need to get more kills, they gotta take a couple more of these guys down! Pure ready to hit right into him, but look at him! Wymon up on the high ground! Only mana can stop this spree! Coming from the Enchantress!
Enchantress snaking. He's still standing there right up front and center <laughs> wanting to kill him off. The smile's coming from Ramsey's. He knows what's happening. GG is called White Mod. You're a monster. All right, I see how it works. Sample the low ground you might miss. What if I just go into your base? Got snaking inside the Radiant Jungle. Amara's okay. farming Radiant Ancients. Can they get out of here? Oh! Skinner found push two times outside of the base. It's going to end up costing him his life, but can Skinner get out afterwards? I don't think so. They TP back multiple and get the clinks. Gotta also imagine at this point in time in the game, if you're Tundra, you feel like you've got a win under your belt. If you lose this one, how do you recover for a game three if it ends up oh, happening? They but they get him again. Long range. Shots are right on top of them. Forced down to the low ground. Does he have a way to get out? TP trying to escape, but no. The jetpack and the battery assault is there. The magic little man in a metal suit does it again. So yeah, they are all Ame? TPing back. Oh, he times those. Oh my god, he just destroyed him. Loretta not ready for that one at all. And Air Oh! Finds Ollie right through the trees. Another casualty. As Aurora, they are going to lose two off the back of this. I think he just bet on the fact that he'd be better. Gap closed to find your target, help the Viper out in the fight. That one did not save Duraccio bottom, but he will make the rotation it's anyway. The win. Uh, nice shackle shot. Still though. Duraccio's gonna be surrounded by heroes. Where's Ace to be able to help out here? The Whirlwind is doing a decent amount of damage. Can't quite finish him up. The power shot misses. Thompson slips right past that one. Soxa is now gonna be the target of Gaming Gladiators instead, but they're running through this sandstorm constantly. Still though, Soxa slowed down by another blood grenade. Oh, oh gets and out. his drinking buddies all the way to Thompson pulls himself out of danger. In their composure here, this is a e vision is everything here. He looks at Quinn, they look at each other. Quinn gets the stun off first, pops the BKB. Sonic Wave onto two, though. The Doom onto Quinn. He tries to get the high ground. Whirlwind with the overgrowth combination, just shredding these heroes on Gaming Gladiator's side. Quinn is going to be next because he was doomed at the beginning of the fight. They're going to buy back in mass. But 33, he might be the first to fall for Liquid. He's on the other side of the trees. Tofu eventually, no, he actually lives on Doom some way, somehow. And only one member of Game and Alive, and it's the Underlord.